Hi, we're Andy and Sherry. We're former teachers who, during the pandemic, decided to make a radical lifestyle change. We are now preparing for our new nomadic midlife, trading stuff for stories and going places instead of gaining possessions. We're currently building our new home on wheels, a custom overland expedition vehicle named Walter, preparing to live life on the road less traveled. And we want to share our journey with you. We just received our highly anticipated folding mountain bikes we recently ordered online. So in this video, we're gonna share with you our unboxing, assembly, and first impressions of our brand new change bikes, folding bikes from flatbike.com. Andy! Yep. Bikes are here. All right, bikes it's time here. to open the bikes. Yeah. Sweet. Look, look, look. Nice. We got our bikes. So we got these bikes from flatbike.com and we were so excited about them because they're super unique for what we want. We are overlanders, right? Yeah. We're right? trying to be overlanders. We're trying to be overlanders. <laughs> we haven't left the house yet, but we're working on our rig and we want to travel full time and we need something that's super portable and sturdy and adventurous and rugged. And we found out about these bikes they like pass all the mountain bike certification tests or whatever for rug ruggability. They're super ruggable. <laughs> um, they fold down into a small space so we can take them in our rig and have them inside. Well, see, that was the problem. Like we had uh, met some people who had uh, bikes on the outside of their rigs. Right. And it was just always getting dirty and always kind of uh, well, and they're uh, potential for nervous it. about yeah, getting, getting stolen. stolen. But then we met those other people who actually just took their bikes apart every time and Put stored inside. them inside, like in a storage bin, and then they never used them. They never used them. So we were looking for a solution, and it just didn't seem to like line up with a real plan until we found Flatbike. Flatbike.com. So they sell these things called change bikes. Awesome. So um, let's open them. Okay. Tools, uh, tools, 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 tools. Okay, be right back. Go, go, I'll go, get go. Some tools. Okay, this is a problem. Uh, I think we might have gotten the wrong bike, one of the wrong bikes. They're small, medium, and large. And this says that we've got a small and a medium and we're supposed to have two mediums. Um, I got some tools. Okay, tools, great. I think we might have the wrong bikes. This says 17 inch, this says 19 inch, but we both ordered We 19s. ordered 19, two 19s. Two 19s. But mine was custom, right? My, they did a custom feature on my- Bob had to build yours custom. Bob the Builder. So, Bob the Builder. <laughs> Bob, Bob at Flat Bikes is amazing. Bob at Flat Bikes can do anything. Um, I need to email Bob and make sure that we got the right bikes. Oh, you maybe, think we got the wrong bikes? Well, maybe he just used this box for yours. Maybe they're the right bikes. Hang on. Okay. All right. A few moments later. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good? Yeah. Bob is always super fast about getting back to us, and he just used the box. Yours was a custom build. He just needed a box to put it in, so we put it in this so one. So we're good. Okay. It's no problem. Okay. We are ready to dig in. Get that in. Get the, no, no, no. Wait. Let me do it myself. If I can't lift my own bike, it's okay. no good. Is that your bike? I don't know. It's a bike. They're it's both bike. the same size. All right. Let's see. It's got a handle on the other side. They're pretty light, aren't they? You're an actor. All right. Okay, here we go. I got the 811 and Andy got the 812. The 811 is a hybrid between a mountain bike and like a gravel road bike, but it has mountain bike style handlebars. And Andy got the 812, which is full on mountain bike with suspension. He has this idea that he's gonna do like hardcore trail riding or something. Yeah. I yeah. am gonna do a little more hardcore trail riding. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I so I don't know which is which. Oh, read me first. Oh, look, it says read me first. I better read this. Okay, in the box are four items. It's useful to remove them in this order and check the box when done for any loose parts. Yeah, we don't want loose parts. Okay, number one, a seat post and seat bag and seat. There we go. Look at that. There's a seat bag, seat post. Yep, yep, yep. We're good. Ooh, look at that. So pretty. Next up, the small bag. It literally just says a small bag. Oh, it has a wrench kit in it. It came with its own tools. How handy. Okay, and the front wheel. Oh, this one's yours, because I recognize the tires. This oh, is, sweet. This is the mountain oh, bike. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Nice. 
Wow. Those are beautiful. That's so nice. It's really lightweight too. So this is super exciting. Like we have wow. real bikes. That's nice. Nice. And finally, the folded frame. Look. Yep. So that is literally this folded. Is your bike. And and the front wheel will go in there and the like the whole thing will fit here. So like if we're we could take these with us on vacation. Look at that. What what? Nice. Look at the packaging on that. This is spectacular. I'm so excited. I suppose, okay, I'm gonna read it. I know you would just start digging in, but I'm gonna read it. Remove the frame from the box and unfold. Okay. <laughs> Looks like there's a strap. Yeah, found the strap. That's good. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh my gosh, look, it's like a real bike. Oh, and we got kickstands. Did I tell you that I that I ordered kickstands? No, that's cool. Yeah, it was an accessory, but I thought it would be handy. So flat bike has a lot of accessories. They can make any mountain bike into, into a flat bike. Into a flat bike. But well, we took it a step further and actually got the change bikes. Yes. That There's a line the of flat bikes that they holds. carry. Yeah. I do like this color. We got the, uh, the, the satin black. Nice, yeah. It is really attractive. I thought it would feel kind of plain, but it's actually pretty classy looking. Good job, Bob, on the packing materials. Seriously, this is well packaged. One thing that's really cool is it actually looks like a bike. Well, that's what like, caught my attention the first time around. It's like the frame. I've seen folding bikes before, and they're just goofy looking. Yeah. Just, I like. I want a bike that looks like a bike. If it doesn't look like a regular bike, then in my opinion, it draws way too much attention. And in the overlanding world, I do not want to draw attention to my bike. And I mean, this is beautiful and sporty and cool looking, but it looks like a regular bike rather than some goofy oh, shape. Right. And I was super excited that we could get a folding bike that would be um, kind of the same ride quality, the same feel as a regular mountain bike. I am currently designing our overland vehicle. And part of the design process is figuring out where everything's gonna go. And this was kind of one big puzzle because if we, we're gonna use uh, regular mountain bikes or e-bikes or something, uh, the configuration of our uh, storage would be very different. And so for, for us to have these uh, bikes now provides us an opportunity to design around them. And uh, we're super excited about being able to enjoy these bikes uh, even before we go overlanding. Now, having not read the instructions, I'm just assuming we have to take these off. I will point out that there was a whole instruction sheet that I was going off of step by step, but you know. Well, you did a good job. You do your own thing. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't done yet. <laughs> oh yeah? It had step by step instructions for all of this. Well, that's good, I'm sure it's telling me what to do. So, <laughs> that makes sense to be out. I'm gonna assemble yeah. my own bike according okay. to the instructions. <laughs> you, do, you do you. You do you, boo. <laughs> okay, well. I might need to figure that out later. We'll see. I wonder if there's an. Old... You might need to figure out the instructions later after you well, assemble it. Something like nice. that. Yeah. Let's so typical. See. They're right behind you. Okay. I might have to. Oh, I see what's going on. I have to take that off. Uh, there's this uh, indexing mark here that shows where center is. So I'm assuming we're going to keep that upright and center. That looks like that fits really well. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the mount over on top of that. Don't go down the crack. Okay, good. You know, most things make sense until they don't make sense. And then you have to go find the instructions. Or right. you can just start with the instructions and that then not waste time. the time. <laughs> that takes time. And I'm super excited about riding this bike today. Finally got to be a sunny day. It was raining this morning. We were like, man, we got our bikes. Fourth of July weekend, 
we'll ride our bikes around somewhere. This model is the 812. It does have the, the hardtail, uh, but it's got the uh, suspension frame on the front tires. And Sherry's model, you're the uh, 811. I get that right? And the 811 uh, does not have the uh, suspension like we mentioned on the front. Uh, both ride really well. I was very excited about that, but I kind of hoping to do a little bit more uh, bumping around. We'll see. Okay. But the point is, uh, you can custom fit a number of features. And uh, flatbike.com, you can buy uh, pedals that are uh, quick release. Pop off. Pop off, okay, so we can buy pop off pedals. I didn't think that was gonna be a big deal. It makes sense about when you're you know, putting them in for tight storage, but man, they were great when we had to carry the bike up downstairs. I didn't hit my shins with the pedals. You push on that little button right there, that kind of releases the indexing pin to allow it to get in, like so. There you go, all the way up, and then slide this black collar back. And that's nice, as long as you can see that ring of red, you know that's nice and tight on there. Okay, it looks like it comes with a uh, front axle lock pin. Uh, that lock pin is going to be part of this clamping assembly. Looks like it comes with some plastic protectors for packaging. Those aren't anything important anymore. And what I don't know yet is how our brake assembly will uh, get uh, indexed into the brake. So I'm gonna kind of explore that for a second. Uh, these have the Shimano uh, hydraulic brakes, which are pretty nice. Pretty straightforward. I could have figured this out. Not that complex. Okay. okay. All right. Pretty easy. No. Yes. Don't leverage against the uh, disc brake. You don't want to warp the brake. You want to just hold uh, the forks instead when you mount this on here. Slide that in and over. Get in between those discs. Okay, it took me a second to get those seated, but I'm in the right spot on the disc, front disc brake and I want to tighten up this assembly just enough so that when I leverage this over, it's a nice and tight fit. Fully seated down, good to go. Uh, looks like there's a minimum distance for insert level. I assume that index is off uh, the top edge there. So we'll do that plus a little bit for now. And I'll tighten that down like so. That's a little tall for you. Yeah, well, we'll come back and check it out here. I guess maybe I'll go down. We'll try that for now. Okay, we're getting close. So uh, the bike still is in fold mode. I guess we need to figure out how to keep this thing uh, from collapsing while we ride. And again, when we rode this bike, when we had a chance to check it out, uh, I was just super impressed with the ride quality. I had no idea it was on a folding bike. It was just, uh, it was just really nice. So this has a basic collar, wraps around. Uh, there is a um, kind of a cam toggle hook here that grabs that and we just seat that thing down nice and tight and uh, that part is good. There's a lock down here. Now, uh, one of the other things that sold us on this bike uh, was the inserts for accessories. There's a, a set of uh, inserts, uh, screw inserts here for accessories for water bottles. Uh, there's some down here. Uh, we also have the ability to put um, a, a stem mount back here for adding some, you know, uh, pannier bags. Um, fender. Yeah, a fender flare or a fender, uh, yeah, actual fender flare or a fender rack. Boy, I think this bike is ready to rock and roll. Uh, ain't she a beaut? This is awesome. Beautiful bike. So beautiful. Um, so, should be good. Before we take off on this though, let's go ahead and uh, put together Sherry's bike so we have a pair that we can go roll off in here tire that I asked for, kind of custom. Uh, it's, it's a little smoother down the center for longer distance like road ride, 
but then it's got these super grippy knobs on the side so that you don't skid in the gravel. So happy with my tire. So our afternoon sunshine suddenly disappeared and it started raining pretty hard. So we moved our assembly operation to the back porch where it's covered. So, okay, I will be the first to admit I am not at all mechanically inclined. Really, not at all. But this bike was super easy to put together straight out of the box. Andy set up his bike his way, which is just to experiment with what feels right, then glance at the instructions if he gets stuck. But to me, seriously, nothing ever just, like, I don't, mechanically, nothing ever just feels right to me. So I was grateful for such a simple design and that Bob from Flatbike sent along detailed instructions and even a set of hex wrenches. Setup was a snap, even for someone like me. I really wanted to be able to assemble my own bike right out of the box and then fold it up for easy storage, lift it into a storage compartment on the side of our travel rig, then take it down and set it back up again for riding. I wanted to be able to do it all myself, and this is totally doable with my change bike. I don't know, I think this is one of the smartest purchases we've ever made as we prepare for our life of overland travel. So by the time we got both bikes set up, the rain had turned into a full-on storm. High winds, rumbling thunder, rain coming down diagonally, all that. But you know what? We don't melt. And there's no way we were going to let a little rain stop us at that point. So we grabbed our raincoats and gave our new bikes a quick test ride. You've never even sat on it to see if the seat is in the right place. Never. Okay. These bikes are going to be a game changer for us. First impression highlights. Number one. They fit in tight spaces. Seriously, in less than a minute, I can fold and stow these bikes in roughly a 30 by 35 inch space. Exactly the solution that we were looking for for our overland camper. Number two. Because we can easily store them in a cargo compartment, it'll make these bikes more secure from theft or damage, a very important aspect when traveling all over the world. Number three. They are easy to transport around. We are already dreaming about what kind of adventures we can take with these lightweight and portable bikes. We could take these with us on vacation. Look at that. What, what? And lastly, these bikes are rugged and dependable. So far, the ride quality is fantastic. Right from the beginning, I just felt so secure with this bike, and it performs as good as any non-folding bike I have ever used. We definitely will be putting these bikes to the test in the days to come and we hope to be making a few follow-up videos in the future to share with you some of our portable adventures. But in the meanwhile, we need your help. You see, we have this tradition in our family. We always name our vehicles. And since these bikes will actually serve as our secondary transportation while we're out on the road, uh, we need to come up with some names for these. So go ahead and go to the comment section and give us your recommendations for what names we should give to these bikes. Thanks for watching.